Chronic back pain as a result of spinal disc herniation is the most common type of back pain of modern age. It is mostly found in working age group between 20 to 40 years old. Other than back pain, the pain also radiates toward hip, leg, thigh, and toes, as well as weakening or numbness of the leg. This would result in shorter walking distance and a loss of balance. What is an intervertebral disc? Well, the intervertebral disc acts as a shock absorber, absorbing the impact coming from spinal vertebrae. As you will see, the green part here is the nucleus pulposus, which contains mucoprotein gel inside, with a gluey substance surrounding it. When there is a tear in the ultra-fibrous ring of an intervertebral disc, it will allow the soft central portion, or the nucleus pulposus, to slip out and press on adjacent nerves or soft tissues. This will lead to chronic back pain, radiating to the hip, leg, and thigh, and toward the foot. For treatment, we provide both surgical and non-surgical treatment as well as the in-between procedure using the medical heat wave transmission method which is called disc nucleoplasty instead of surgery. Disc nucleoplasty sends pulses of radio waves into the nucleus of the herniated disc thus reducing compression and pain that is caused by the herniated disc. The benefit of this type of treatment is quick recovery and a minimal loss of blood as well as limited bed rest. This is another revolutionary method of treatment. It is not surprising why Samitivet Srinakarin Hospital has received CCPC Quality Standard Certification for two specific fields of treatment, which are back pain and stroke, from JCI, an acclaimed accreditation organization of the United States. This is another one of our proud achievements of Samitivet Sri Nakarin Hospital, which demonstrated that we don't just provide treatment, but also progress toward world-class standards.